Good morning, Ethereum Sky. I'm out here in... where am I? I'm in Palmer, in Alaska, about an hour north of Anchorage. And I just wrapped up our, our third shoot out here in Alaska for this month. Um, over the last two days I was filming, uh, I was filming some domesticated ice age creatures. I was filming with the musk oxen out here in Palmer in Alaska. There's a, there's a big farm here, possibly the only such operation in the world, where, where this small grassroots crew domesticates uh, musk oxen. Those are crazy cool animals. They're, they kind of look like big fluffy cows, bison, something like that. They run really funny because uh, they're huge, they're really muscular, and when they run, it's just, it's just like you see this giant rushing at you. Uh, so they're, they're pretty cool. Um, and the crazy thing is they walked, they walked on this planet with, um, with the woolly mammoths. They fought off, uh, they fought off saber-toothed tigers. They're, they're, they're crazy creatures that survived things that, that few other, few other species have. And, um, and it was a really nice shoot. I'm always very cautious about filming any attractions that deal with animals simply because I've, I've seen way too much abuse in my life um, and way too many places use animals just as a product, just as a means to make money. And I was so happy and really relieved to see that this was not the case here at the Musk Oxen Farm. Um, this is not an advertisement or, or anything. I have no, no connection to them, but um, it really struck me as a good place for, for these animals to live. They really seemed comfortable and happy there, and um, and also the facts speak for that. Those animals in the wilderness, they would survive roughly 15 years, and um, and out on the farm, they survive almost 10 years longer. And the crazy thing is the uh, the farm they they use the animals for the harvest of of their underwool, which is the softest wool, softest wool available, really. Uh, they say that it's eight times softer and warmer than sheep wool, and and it's pretty crazy because they have this they have this whole contracture where um, where they showed me how they harvest the wool from these animals. So they they push those animals into 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 this mechanical into this mechanical contracture. They they kind of secure them in place because they're big, heavy, muscular, and really strong. And um, and then they feed them treats like, like they would to a pet, and then they take out this tiny little brush, and they simply they simply brush the the musk oxen the the little fur that that the musk oxen would naturally shed, they brush it away to, well to collect uh, to collect their wool, and and to make some some warm and very soft um, products from it. It's a really cool operation. Um, I'm not sure yet um, where or how I will release this project, but um, but usually usually I would have a project. I would be commissioned for a project from a client, and this is the rare case when when actually I haven't been commissioned for this video. I was here in Alaska um, anyways, and I wanted to visit the place. Um, it was kind of last minute, so I just contacted them and I said, "Guys, let me shoot this for you." We'll see what comes out and I will pitch it to some clients after. So um, so let's see. I'll try for I'll try for Great Big Story, we'll try for BBC Real. These are the producer pro producers production companies that I've worked with before. And and we'll see what they say. And if it doesn't work, it will it will be our own little Ethereum Sky uh, in-house production. And and now I'm out here in this very, very quiet neighborhood of Palmer where I just started last afternoon filming with, uh, with Mike Hall. And Mike Hall, in his youth, about 50 years ago, he spent, uh, he spent quite some time living in the wilderness completely on his own without any human contact. And it's essentially the story of Chris McCandless from Into the Wild, um, except Mike made it out alive and lived a 
long, happy and very inspirational life afterwards. And, and I met Mike five years ago on a dusty crossroads in Laos. I was on my motorbike uh, driving, from, driving from Hanoi across the world, really. I spent a year on my motorbike. Um, yeah, and Mike was at, I think, 73 or 74 at the time. He was on a bicycle cycling from Bangkok to Hanoi. And he, yeah, <laughs> and he shared with me at the time his journals. We just had a chat over, over dinner. And he shared with me his journals from Alaska, from the wilderness, and they absolutely inspired me. And ever since, I'd been thinking of of how to how to do something with Mike, how to somehow tell his story visually. And and finally, now here I am. It's a difficult story to shoot. Um, there's it's a story of a single character in the wilderness. Not many people who who have been influential in Mike's life uh, back then in his early days are around or are available to to be filmed so this presents a lot of challenges for this story but over the next week we're going to visit some key figures some key people in Mike's life um, I'm going to talk to them I'm going to do some interviews with Mike we're gonna go we're gonna go spend a bit of time in the tundra and we're going to see what comes out of it um, I have to say that with most of my projects I have a more defined idea of where things are going, of where I want to take them. This project, um, it's not there yet, uh, which is not necessarily a bad thing because this was part of the understanding when I was coming out here to Alaska that, um, that I didn't know enough about this story. I wanted to get to know more. I wanted to see if there's enough content for a full feature film or for for a short film at least, um, and I wanted to see if and what we could possibly do with this story. So, so that's what I'm spending this week on. And yeah, so it's the morning where we just had a bit of coffee. I just camped, I just packed up all our gear, barely fit it into my sports car. I, I keep using that phrase as a joke. I never thought I'd be talking about my sports car ever in my life. Um, but I'm, I'm actually kind of kind of starting to like this car Okay, fine. I liked it from the beginning, but um, But yeah, I'm supposed to return it tomorrow and I might have to extend it for a few days because we're We're planning this bigger road trip out towards the tundra and um, and we kind of could use some transportation. So uh, So let's see anyways um, we're about to we're about to head towards Anchorage for for tonight to meet some more of Mike's friends and then tomorrow tomorrow probably head up towards Paxton area in kind of central eastern Alaska I guess and um, and we'll see how it goes from there all right so that's just a quick update for now and um, I'm gonna go get ready and um, yeah, please be sure to subscribe to Ethereum Sky Films and Media on Facebook and check out these projects as well as more of our work at ethereumsky.com. Take care.